You're listening to What's What Jamaica News TV. Here's what we have in the news. A 20-year-old who touched her girlfriend is charged. A mother's poor predicament owing $41 million for a daughter in hospital. Stay tuned. And here are the details. 20-year-old man accused of torturing ex-girlfriend in college campus. On Monday, February 13, Matthew Hyde, age 20, of Bramer Avenue, New Kingston, who has been charged with assault resulting in a serious bodily harm, was due to appear in court. According to reports, Hyde allegedly held his ex-girlfriend against her will for three days between Monday, February 6, and Thursday, February 9, in a room he occupied on the University of the West Indies, Mona Campus, beating her repeatedly and scorching portions of her body with a close iron. After the woman was eventually saved, a police report was made and Hyde was detained and charged. Additional charges against him are being explored as the investigations progressed and the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution has been consulted by the police over this. Mona Guild, Omar Omalara Wilson, the president of the University of the West Indies, is pleading with students to come forward with any information they may have on the assault of a female student on the campus. The, U the University of the West Indies director of security, Norman Haywood, reports a modest increase in domestic abuse and inmate partner violence complaints on the university main campus. The Guild has been informed of the increase according to Ms. Wilson. The slow rate of reporting though has the student leader concerned. She also claims that the Guild has requested academic leniency for the female student from the university as part of their response. In the news, the mother of the battered teen who battled for her life after an alleged attack at a party in November 2020, Venetia Buckley, claims she is doing the best she can. She confessed that things are challenging but insisted that she does not intend to ignore her obligations in regards to the hospital bill. Buckley said she has struggled to breathe since her now 19-year-old daughter continues to require medical treatment and she is now responsible for paying the $41 million bills neither she nor her daughter intended to incur. Buckley stated her displeasure with the case involving individuals accused of harming her child the one who is continuously ashamed because she has a bill she cannot pay. Buckley acknowledged that she must choose her careers more wisely if she is to be able to support her family, but she also expressed her gratitude to the government for covering some of the expenses. The total that she is now owing the University of the West Indies is $41 million. On November 7, 2020, Kaylan, who was 17 at the time, is said to have been assaulted by five women while at an illegal party. The woman who allegedly attacked Kaylan in a fight and assaulted and stabbed her were eventually detained and charged. They are Casey Ann Lewis, also known as Chrissy, Shamika McLeod, also known as Kima, Nadine Aldridge, Yolanda Vassal, Timon Williams, also known as Rusty. They must appear in court on charges of unlawful wounding and intentional injury on November 6, 2023, in front of the Supreme Court. It's so disgusting. These are young people who are very violent, who hurt people so badly something must be done to our young people and something there must be something
that is causing these young generations to be so violent. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Kind of make sure you like, you subscribe, you comment, you share, and you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of all new videos.